Hey, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronald, and I can finally say I am a Salesforce application architect. In this video, I'm gonna discuss how I got here and the lessons I learned along the way. Going to my first certification that I got in Salesforce was the Platform Developer One. And this one is when I was at a company like four years ago. And essentially what happened was that this company was required of you know get a certain amount of developers with certifications on the project so i was one of those people selected to get the certification i was already getting some other training and certifications during that time but this one was you know put onto my radar and essentially what happened was i did some research on regards to it really liked it and i was like yeah i pick it up why not so you know before i actually you know start working in salesforce i was actually you know, doing getting the certification, I already had programming experience behind it, but I had no clue what, you know, Salesforce was and what I was doing in particular. And with that particular exam, you have to know some fundamental things about that exam. What happened was I was studying with someone during that time. They took the test, first try, all willy nilly, passed it. Great for them. I took the test the first time, failed it. Yeah, you know, I start studying and start doing some more stuff. Took the test a second time, failed it again. The company was like, during that time, I have like, you know, one more try. And let me, you know, really try to really figure out how I'm going to pass this exam. So I paid some extra money to take this, you know, get a couple of practice tests from this one vendor. And the practice tests were like, really, really interactive. And I really liked that because what happened was with the practice tests, like I can, you know, do little things and I got answers wrong. So I would be directed to the, the resource to direct. Salesforce resource on that documentation. So it came roughly around the third time when I took that exam and I passed it. So one of the things that I learned the lessons in regards to that was, you know, get some experience and also accept failure during that time. It took me three times to pass that exam. It was very disheartening for the first time, definitely the second time because I was super close. Get your resources out there, get experience and, you know, get a fun understanding of the platform as much as possible before you know getting certifications and i think that's you know so vital and also just accepting failure is just a very important part of learning and i was accepting the failure that i wasn't going to pass it the first time second time and that failure was just the insight of the areas that i needed to work in all right so yeah, so now I'm going to the next part of this story is that so when I got put onto the project with the certification platform developer and everything, I was, you know, working underneath a technical architect that provided solutions and also did some implementation pieces of it. So that he was part of the development. And what happened was, you know, as the project continued to progress and continue to move forward he wasn't really connecting too much with the customer and the stakeholders pain points of what the solutions needed that they were trying to achieve it always came towards to something in the realms of salesforce doesn't do that it's not capable you know of doing this stuff out of the box which is you know you know completely accurate but then you know, providing something, a, a different option and some like level of effort stuff. Those are the things that were stakeholders were like looking forward to. I just remember a lot of things that I worked on. I wasn't, you know, super, super, you know, knowledgeable per se about everything, but I did a lot of reading in regards to the best practices when, well, whenever I was implementing something. So I look into the documentation, if I implement anything in declarative or custom code, and I used those best practices and went with that. What happened was that he had all this knowledge about Salesforce, but didn't know the right ways to implement it the way how the business wanted it. And that, that was so vital, just like understanding that you can have all these certifications, but it doesn't mean that you're proficient overall in everything you need to be as a, a developer or an architect so i thought that was you know a very important lesson that was lesson number two search doesn't mean that you're proficient overall it does give you the knowledge and everything that you need to know but at the end of the day you have to be overall well-rounded and proficient enough in order to you know fulfill certain roles and 
fulfill certain duties. It's very important that certifications does qualify you to know the basics of what you need to know, but also there's things that you need to learn outside certification like soft skills and interpersonal skills that allow you to interact and give you like that back and forth feedback that you're trying to get from the customer and pretty much relay that back to them to know, tell them that you understand what you're implementing and also translate that into something that is what they are picturing from a declarative or custom approach to their needs. So this kind of goes into the next piece of my journey is that for the longest, I didn't get any other certifications, and but I was very purposeful in the direction of where I wanted to get certifications when the time does come to get certifications. So during that time of almost three years, since my first certification in Salesforce, I told myself, you know, I wanted to get very proficient in data modeling. I want to get really proficient in understanding the sharing model. I really want to get really proficient in just understanding some basic declarative stuff that Salesforce allows you to do and know those things in and out. So during that time, I spent all that time to, you know, really focus on that. And then also, you know, focus in certain areas that I wanted to focus in, in Salesforce, such as Service Cloud, because I, I want to continue to move in the direction of, you know, working in Health Cloud and all those things and work in that particular industry. Yeah, understanding like where you want to go is very important. Be very purposeful and having direction of what you want to learn and also put in the direction of your career path. I think that's really important too. I speak about this as well is that whenever you're going about going to a different job is like, I mean, salary is one thing, but you know, is the role doing what you wanted to do is the duties and the stuff that you want to do there. And also the work that you're doing there is very important because overall, if you really want to get into a certain field and you want to get into a certain industry in the long run, then you need to be very purposeful and have direction and what you need to go. So that's what I also learned during this journey. When the time did come, just like, you know, 2021 got three certifications there. 2022 got four certifications there. And now we at this present moment of now I have a total of eight certifications and it wasn't easy. Like I failed a couple of them. Now I'm here with the application architect certification. And I'm really happy in regards to it. It's like it's a really great you know, feeling to know where I was, you know, starting at and where I wanted to go. And now I'm here at this particular level, but I'm not done yet. Which brings me to the last lesson is that lesson number four, after getting these certifications, you know, don't stop learning. Don't stop. You know, continue to learn. Be very uh, intentional in honing your skills in areas that you're working in. Just don't learn just to, for the sake of learning. Learn the areas that you're working in so you can continue to learn in that space. Also, during this time, it's so very important to not get complacent and uh, like a day siddle, <laughs> like a dax, like, like a day, was it? Like a day And it's very important not to be very lackadaisical in regards to what you're doing. But if you don't have passion in that you know, particular route that you're going, don't pursue that route because, I mean, it's just going to be continuous. It's going to be an uphill battle that you're going to try to you know learn this path and then you go down that path and it's not something that you really want at the end of the day maybe you'll pursue it later on like for example like aws was something that i was very passionate about before actually pursuing salesforce but then i got introduced to salesforce and i was like should i still do aws stuff because i'm still in this cloud realm of what i want to do i'm still able at the end of the day to look into using those particular tools with AWS or GCP and so on when I'm doing my own personal projects. So I kind of look in that aspect is like, I'm, I can still go that route if I really want to, but right now it doesn't make sense for me to do it. But when the time does come, which probably relatively soon because the next part of my next goal uh, this whole overall thing is to get the next side of the pyramid, the system architect certification. And that one is more in regards to integrations and stuff. And that's when I will be using, you know, understanding how to integrate with other external services that will integrate with Salesforce and some other things as well and so on. 
So I hope this helps out with your journey. And, you know, just let me know down in the comments if, you know, if you have any questions in regards to any of the certifications that I got. And also, if you like videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Ugh. I feel like I got it the first time.